G'day, now if you've arrived here on this YouTube channel it's because your diesel heater display isn't very bright. And this is mine, I've got it pulled out of the cover, I've actually got two, so you recognise this guy, they go quite dim. So this guy is quite dim. As you can see, depending on what angle you look at it, it's terrible. So, how do they work and why do they go dim? Well, in the back of, this is actually energised, but in here there are two LEDs little white lights which fire into the light diffuser plate which is just a piece of perspex with a piece of white clear plastic on the top. What it does is the LED shines through underneath it and comes out through the front and actually gives you your brightness. Now what happens is LEDs wear out over time and these ones seem to wear out quicker than they should. So my solution is don't bother trying to fix the LEDs that are in there because they're embedded into the light spreader. Just add another one. And what I've done is used a standard 4x4 SMD placed, I think it's a 800, the LEDs are measured in brightness, uh, measured in uh, MCD. So this is a 900 MCD brightness LED, which is this little guy here. And that's probably not going to focus like most things. So I just used a little LED like that. You can see the little yellow dot. And then you'll need a 180 ohm resistor on the back. And you wire that into the 5 volt supply, which is the plug. This comes from your diesel heater. It's 5 volts on one of those. One of the pins is a data pin and the other one's a ground. And you can see here, the blue one is like the data pin, communicates with the heater, black's ground, and the red one is 5 volts. So all you're doing is hot gluing your LED to the side so it fires into the diffuser plate, the extra LED, and then you'll solder it onto the positive and the negative with the 180 ohm resistor, because a lot of these LEDs don't like, uh, they run on about 30 milliamps. So if you hook them directly up, any LED across here will probably go for a wee bit and then just blow up. You could also use a standard LED, this is a, a white one, but they're quite big and bulky. And hot glue it in the side there, and then wire it back to these two pins here. Seems to work, that's my quick dirty fix. What I'll do is I'll try and, I haven't soldered this in place, this wire, so you can actually see the difference in brightness. But I will try and connect that up to the negative lead without blowing it up now for you and you'll see the difference so there you go if I can get it to go there that's the difference in brightness that's on and that's with the standard LEDs which are worn out so anyway that's one way of doing it if I turn this off have a look on the side There's two LEDs in here on the um, diffuser plate. This is the first one here, and there's another one behind these two green wires. And this is a little SMD or small LED device. And there's a tiny little chip on there, and 0805. A lot of you guys won't be able to do that work. It's just too small and fiddly, but there's nothing stopping you doing that. So white LED, 180 ohm resistor. Hook it up to the 5 volt supply across there, negative, or which is red, sorry, black's negative, red is positive. Just hook up the wires across there and it'll help assist by firing the light into your LCD. The other way to fix this is just go buy a whole new one for 16 bucks off AliExpress, but you'll probably end up with the same problem. But if you buy a good quality LED, it'll last a long time. Now, you've got to get this apart, so I'll run through that. So to get these apart to do the work on them, there's no screws in the back. If you prise a screwdriver on the side, you'll probably break it because it does actually have screws, and the screws are hidden behind this plate here. So what you do is you use a very fine screwdriver and just lift the side of the cover, plastic cover. This, I've had this one off, so it's come off easy, and it has adhesive on it on the back and then you'll find and they've already taken these out here there are four screws one in each corner 
four little Phillips screws. One there, one there, down there, and there. Undo those. It'll then come apart. Like that. Then, so we screwdriver under the edge, flip that up, and that one up there, and that will come out. And that is how you get to your display. And this one's already had an extra LED put in it, which is under this black bit of tape, and the black bit of tape just stops it shining out through the display. And that's it. I've drawn a quick dirty circuit diagram so you can figure out what's going on with this crazy LED stuff in here and how they work. So this picture here is the board and this, these three, that's your 5 volts, data signal and negative. So on your board this is the red one is your 5 volts, blue one's your data signal, you're not doing anything with that, and the black one's your ground. So you are going to Put your LED up in here, firing into the little white diffuser plate, which is up in here. And you will wire that back with a 180 ohm resistor in line, back to the positive. And then your negative will just run up to the back of the LED. Now I've used very fine green wire on this, and that's all you got to do. Probably other ways of doing this, but this is a quick dirty hack to give it a fix. If you do know the proper way of fixing this or where you can get the bits for them, stick it in the comments. So this is the one that has been fixed. You can see it's quite bright and I've got the light going on the camera. So if we turn off the light on the camera, that's how it looks once it's done. So there you have it folks. Thanks for watching. I hope that's of some help. See you later.